Hi Hollywood Recap here. Today I am going to explain you drama movie called The Twin Bracelets. Spoilers ahead. Watch at and take care. In 2300 years ago, there was a mysterious tomb like this. Above the coffin was a huge silver dragon. If anyone can get the dragon god, open the big door of the tomb agency, they can call demons in the underworld, and get the magical power of the thousand year dragon. Because in order to have this eternal method, descendants of Golden Kingdom are looking for the location of this mysterious tomb. This man is holding a feng shui compass in his hand. White tiger is metal, black tortoise is water, azure dragon is wood, vermilion bird is fire. After a round of calculations, he said in a firm voice, the tomb is under the Azure Dragon Mountain. His name is Yitzi. His ancestors were all great thieves. Now in order to revive his wife, he immediately helped the bad man he seek it in town to find the ancient tomb. They used explosives on the large door of the tomb. Everyone was just about to go to the tomb to find the museum. But a group of blood-sucking bats attacked. People who come into contact with bats immediately turn to ash. After many difficulties, Yitzi finally opened the first sealed stone door. He entered the front of the tomb. The whole front is enclosed in the two ends of the cliff. If you are not careful, you will fall into the abyss. A monster wearing Golden Kingdom armor was sitting in the Great Hall right now. Its fingers are very long. Its face is fierce. It stared at the large door of the far tomb. Not wrong. This is the animal guarding this tomb. Once it senses the tomb being stepped on, it will wake up and attack the intruder. There are many sculptures of animals around. White tiger, cheetah, lion, elephant, wolf, jackal. After observing carefully, JHC immediately discovered that this was a chessboard of the Golden Kingdom. You have to move the chess piece, break the chessboard, then the next big door of the tomb will be opened. Based on the mutual relationship between plants, people infer the position of moving pieces. First, move the elephant to capture the lion. Then move the lion to launch the attack. Just when everyone was working together to break the chessboard, the beast guarding the grave behind gradually woke up. It raised its weapon at everyone. Then it's Yeetzee alone. It raised a knife in one hand and strangled Yeetzee in the other. In times of danger, they still need to quickly solve the chessboard to smoothly escape the chase. Yeetzee was strangled by the beast guarding tomb and raised in the air. He's about to be killed. At a critical moment, Silver Eye and Octagon finally finished dealing with the chessboard. The beast guarding the grave also stopped and returned to the old place step by step. When everyone was about to leave, they discovered that the stone door was not the exit. THC based on the agency in the room to speculate. The gate of the lion guard is usually the yang door. And the door guarded by the white tiger is usually the yin door. As long as yin and yang face each other, the white tiger in front can probably open the door to the tomb. Everyone use their strength to bring the two white tiger statues to either side of the stone door. Indeed, the door slowly opened. Following the narrow tomb, everyone went up to a large raised land. Suddenly a cold cold came. And under their feet was a sea of ice and fog, deep and bottomless, cold enough to make people shiver. The three of them still hadn't had time to find the location of the agency here. The priest brought his subordinates to chase. He wants to have the museum in the legendary tomb. The crow didn't say a word and started fighting. The silver eye and cable carelessly fell off the cliff. Fortunately, silver eye grabbed hold of the cliff and was pulled out by Zietzi. But cable was not so lucky because the temperature of the ice layer on the cliff was too low. Although she was rescued, her legs were frozen, broken joints and fell down. In order to smoothly pass through this tomb room, they need to pass the floating stone pillar. If they step wrongly, the stone pillar would immediately break and they would fall into the bottomless abyss. There are many images of turtle shells carved on the stone pillars. The pillar body is turned by the spirit of the snake, so Zietzi again took out the compass. He guessed from the eating of eight sign figure that the black turtle door was in the southeast. Then he threw the vines and followed the ropes to the front of the tomb. Indeed, this is where the exit door is. People holding flashlights walked forward. Suddenly, there was hot air, forming a huge contrast with the cold just now. They went straight to the front of the shrine. Under the wall is a lava lake. Looking down, a bright red patch. There is also a dense cave layer on the rock wall. After all, where's the real exit? Jadesy led walking forward like in a maze. Every time they came out, it's a completely new cave. But there's no way out. Entering a large tomb. Suddenly there was a flock of fire butterflies. Those who were attacked by them all turned into great fire. 
and eventually burn to the point of no bones. At this point, Nine thinks of something. He tells everyone, all over here is lava, extremely hot. Perhaps it is the Vermilion Bird Gate that represents fire. Vermilion Bird represents reincarnation. Reincarnation means circulation. According to the arrangement of the stars of the Vermilion Bird, corresponding to the cave entrance on the wall, Jadesy once again entered the dark door beside the cliff. He discovered the path leading directly to the tomb. After going through thousands of hardships, in front of it is a giant coffin, on top of which is a large dragon, carved lightly as if it can wake up at any time. The legendary dragon god was in front of the coffin, but as soon as the dragon god was taken down, the grave immediately made a shrill sound. The whole grave began to shake violently, the scales on the dragon god's body fell in pieces. By the time everyone ran to the coffin, they found that the giant dragon had disappeared. Everyone rolled their eyes at each other. At this time, from the abyss behind suddenly a huge dragon emerged. Its eyes glowed blue, and its mouth opened wide, wanting to eat humans. Everyone was pushed down the cliff by the dragon god. Then a bunch of zombie soldiers crawled up. Fortunately, JHC suddenly remembered that this was the last desert dragon to reign. He took a knife and broke the coffin in front of him. The illusion of the dragon god and the zombies also disappeared, turned into smoke. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notification, and leave a like to help channel out. Thank you for watching.